Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. This is the Ravel A10 Warthog. It's a 148 scale by Ravel. If you didn't see the box break on this video, click the link below. It will take you to that video. That way you can watch the box break in its entirety, I insist. Here we are, as I always do, I start off every video. I wash my parts for my model. That way I get off all the oils from the factory and all that good stuff. Here I wash it with a little dishwashing detergent, some mild soapy warm water. Rinse off your parts as usual. Make sure all the soap is off of them. Yes, it's okay to touch it with your hands because you're still going to get a little bit of oil left on them. That's not a big deal. Here I am washing off all the parts. We've got a couple of sprue trees in here. There was also the canopies and all that good stuff. See that little thing? That's the pitot tube. Don't break it off. I broke mine off. I went probably 98% uh, of this model without breaking that and then it broke. So here's our pilot. It's got straps on it and all that good stuff. Paint him all of drab going around here. He doesn't have an arm, so we're gonna have to paint that arm and attach it later on. Keep going around his suit, get the front, get the sides, legs, arms, get the back side. Here is his arm that will need to be attached. We're getting the opposite side of that right now. Just going over with a nice coat of paint. Here's the back side that I was talking about. We're gonna get a little bit more of that and we're almost done painting this guy here. Just get his legs as we're doing here. Now we go for the straps. They go a nice little gray color all the way up to the top here. Of course, don't forget to get his little mask and all that stuff. His helmet goes black all the way around according to the instructions, so that's what we are doing here. So of course, get the sides, get the top, the left, the right, the back. This is his right arm and we are doing his little glove here. Make sure you get all of that and inside of the palm, he's got his little fingers. We're painting his little oxygen mask right here. I'm doing that black as well, all the way down the sides. So we're gonna make that look pretty. Get this side and we'll get the other side right here like we're doing. There we go, looks good. Get his left hand as well. You don't have to do the other side because you're never gonna see it. I don't know why I'm painting his boots either because you don't see those. You always paint the boots and they're always deep inside and you can never really see inside of that cockpit anyway. Unless you're holding this model at a certain angle and who the heck wants their model picked up because I don't because they break easy. So here is the cockpit itself. This is going a dark ball gray as I just stated. Painting all the way around here. Just doing it by hand. It goes inside so you're not going to get a great view of it. The canopy will kind of distorted a little bit we're doing the top right here going to go do this instrument panel on the side get the other one get the inside of this right here here we go just painting this it takes a little bit of time as you know it's because it's a model get the chair this is where we're going to put our little pilot you might not want to put that much paint on there because you do have to glue them down to there but I painted it anyway. Here's the instrument panel, getting the top of that, getting the inside of the instruments panel. I didn't do any of the instruments this time just because I didn't feel like it. I just painted them the gray color and left it and stuck it in there. I just got lazy on this one for some reason. So we're finishing up the gray on this. Here is the control stick. That also goes gray. We're gonna get gray on both sides. And then remember that little handle also goes black which is like 100% of them. Got our gray color that we're putting in right here. It goes inside of the fuselage. Just get all the way around there. So, ooh, made in China. Hmm. You know, I like when they say made in the USA. I do have a few of those, rare, but they've got them. I think the next model that I'll do might say made in the USA. We'll see, we will see. So continuing, we're just gonna paint the cockpit area right here. This little area, I'm painting it. I don't know why. I wind up putting wax in there because this says to weight this thing down. Guess what? The wax didn't work. <laughs> this model is really heavy, so you're going to need something really heavy like lead or something like that that goes in this nose cone. Or you could just use that little clear piece that comes with this. It'll stick up inside of the tail of the fuselage, and that keeps this plane level. If you don't want that little piece, like I said, weight this down with something other than wax. It just was not enough. This is a very back heavy plane here we are this is the other side i also filled this up with wax filling it with wax was quite a chore i basically melted wax in a spoon and i just kind of poured it in never done that before but there i guess is a first time for everything and if i ever need to melt wax i'll know how to do it just use a spoon and a lighter and 
it just melts rather quickly. And I don't even know if I used a lighter. I think I used a heat gun to do that. So here we are painting the cockpit seat. This is an olive green color, not an olive drab. So we're going to paint this. This is a seat. You get those little ejector handles there. Here is the chair. This also goes an olive green color. Get all the sides of this. That back will eventually go a black color, but we're going to paint it green for now. Just give a little base coat on there. It gives that black something to stick to. Not that it needs it, but hey, you already got the color out, so you may as well paint it, right? Right. Here we go. Getting this all painted up. We're going to get a little bit more coat on here. That way it looks a little bit thicker. This chair was not the easiest to assemble inside this model. I had a little bit of difficulty with it, but we did get it done. You have to fit it in a certain way, and it meets up with the back. It goes around certain things, and it was just, just kind of weird. It didn't really seat well, if you could say. What a little pun there. So we're getting this inside of it right here. Probably not even necessary. Here's the control stick, painting the top of that black, like I said. We'll cut that piece out here pretty soon. Get the other side of it. That's important because you don't want the sides looking bare on one side. Here's that black color I was talking about. We're painting this black, going around the edges. Get the back right here. As we do that, do the same to the opposite side. Fairly simple process, going along getting those little cracks and corners. Here is the instrument panel, painting this black. Go all the way around this. Be careful, don't get any on the insides. Just about done with the right side. Here we are, we're doing the left side, painting it nice and carefully. I had a lot of fun doing this model. It turned out really well. I did the green version of this that come with the instructions. Probably could have done a lot better job than what I did on the camouflage. It turned out good, but there was probably better ways to do it. Here's the tan color. This is for the chair. I'm going to paint that tan all the way down. Those sections I'm leaving right there, they go a light gray color. So we're going to get to that in just a little bit. Put a small little section of tan there in the middle. So here's the light gray. This is going on right here on these little things. I don't know what they are, but they're there. They're on the model. So. We get that and then just put a nice little line there. The inside of this is red. Um, you can even look in pictures of this plane and you'll see that it has a red seat. So this is how I did it. This looks good. This is the chair. Painting this olive drab. Like I said, I don't know why because painting this doesn't matter if you're going to put the pilot in there. He basically just sits in there anyway so you need something to glue it to. You might want to just not do this and just paint the sides might be a little bit easier but here we go we're painting this getting the green color everywhere get the yellow on these handles um, one thing i hate about yellow is it never really paints too well at least for testers colors that i have you know it's always kind of translucent you can see it going on there so it always takes a little bit more coats get the yellow all the way around those are probably like the ejection handles, I would imagine, on the side, so they can just kind of pull up on them. Getting this side, and we'll do the same on the right side of the chair. That's all done. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Not really, because it's an ejector handle, and it goes inside the seat, so you're not going to see it. So, we're cutting these out. All done with that. Here's our little arm. We're going to glue this into the pilot. I probably should have waited until the pilot was seated before I glued the arm. That way I could get a good feel of where that arm needed to bend at. But I didn't, and this is how I did it. So maybe you'll do it better than me. Cutting out the cockpit. This is the instrument panel. The two seats. The seat halves right here. There is the control stick. So here we go. The fun part. Gluing stuff. Put a little cement there. Put the chair on the back. Here's the tricky part. These kind of have to go in. That fits behind the chair. Do the other side. Play with it a while because it's going to break apart, pull apart. Just not a fun experience. I think maybe they could have made this chair a little bit better. It didn't even really meet in the back either. I'm going to put a dab of cement here. This is the underside where the control stick will go. There, that's in place. Here comes the instrument panel. It's going to meet up right here just press it down onto the back and you see where it joins with the seat that is done 
we're going to let that dry for a little bit. There's my little guy cutting out the fuselage. This was fun. Uh, that cannon you see there, I drilled it out. Made the holes look really pronounced with the drill. Took a little bit of time. Had fun doing it. Never done that before. So it was fun. We'll show you that later on in one of the other videos. Here's the canopy just showing you taking that off. We're going to discard that later and we will work with that. So there it goes. This is a little guide area right here so you know where to put the cockpit chair. Uh, this is so you can show you where the glue needs to go all along this, except for right there with those little, like, what looks like, I don't know, knurling. It doesn't need to go there, but put it there, you're not really going to be able to see it. So you can see how this cockpit sits there in that little groove. When we finally do glue this together, you're going to need to clamp some stuff. So here's a hot wax. It didn't work, but it was in there. And like I said, this model is heavy, and it is back heavy and it tilts to the back even with all its armor on there here we are going around the edges of this with my glue get all the way around you see the spaces where we need to get and where we don't need to get especially where the rear engines will go once the glue is all on here you're going to need a bunch of clamps for this model and what the clamps do is they hold it in place while the glue dries and as well presses firmly on the cockpit because I had a little gap on one of the sides of the cockpit so this held it together so the glue could dry I put some super, super glue in there some plastic cement and all sorts of other good stuff it takes me a while because I'm putting a thin bead around this the seams on this they were okay not the greatest in the world has raised panel lines so you know what that's like when you have to sand those down uh, lost a lot of detail in the sanding because like I said, it didn't quite match up evenly with the uh, seams because this is joined all the way along the entire fuselage. You see it's, it's a lengthy fuselage, fairly big plane, quite long. We're going to put this on, put a little bit of glue on the other side of the cockpit seat. That way you can see how this joins up. Carefully press it together. Don't get any glue on your fingers because that's important because it'll smear all over the place. and. And you got to buff out fingerprints of glue so you can see that gap there where these clamps are going now that gap is closed but hey look at that what did it do it opened up the front end so we had to rubber band that and i'm showing you a different angle here to get a better clamp on that see putting the glue there this is after everything is dry you can see how these seams turned out kind of icky it's i mean they were raised up quite a bit Getting the rubber bands off, that was a little bit of a challenge, but getting the rubber bands on was also a challenge in itself because you had to go over all these little things. You have your back engine area that had to go over and then your little antennas and things like that, a bunch of those. Here we're going to peel this off. There's like five or six things. That little hole right there, that's where the little glass piece goes. It's clear plastic to hold the back end of this plane so it doesn't tilt upward, like I said. So there's the fuselage. There is the cockpit seated in there. You can see a little bit of glue held together just fine. You can see how that goes. Right here is the inside. You can see that wax. It doesn't really matter because there's going to be landing gear going in there. So these are the wings. We're going to cut out each half of them. One wing is a little bit different than the other. Make sure you clear all the flashing away. Do a lot of test fits. That way you make sure these pieces glue together fine. And there's that pitot tube. Like I said, 98% of this model, that thing stayed on, and then it broke, which was not a surprise to me because that's what it does. Had a little bit of flashing on there. See me getting that flashing off? That was a little bit of a challenge. I tried sanding it, all sorts of other things. It just moves around too much. Here I am cutting out the uh, tail fins. It's got that piece on there. You see me pointing out there. They're supposed to be on there. I think the other one didn't quite make it out of the mold because it was not there. These are the stabilizers that go in the back where the tail's attached to. This goes inside the fuselage. I don't know what these things are, but they go on the plane. They go right on the wings. So I never attached them until the final paint job. And then I attached them that way I could get green inside of there. So running our glue all along the edge of this one wing. You see how I'm doing this and the wing is going to fit inside of this, especially on that right side where my hand is. You'll see me put a little bit of glue in there and then we can set the wing inside. And I clamped every wing together, that way they held. 
getting the glue all the way down here as you can see inside this little crease right here this is where the joining lines are so just hold it down with something where my finger goes that's where they uh, put some flaps so the flaps are separate and you're just gonna have to put those in I painted my flaps green on the inside and just kept the camo scheme with the flaps open I don't know if you want to go the extra mile make it with flaps closed be my guest have fun with that watch out for that pedo tube my fingers awfully close I'm lucky I didn't hit it here so we see how that all goes together put our clamps in you can see where you might have to adjust the seams just a little bit maybe fill in with some super glue or putty whatever you prefer how to do it and how you want your model to look remember how I do my models not how you need to do yours but this is just to show you kind of how they go together and maybe where you might not want to make a mistake that maybe I made and you say hey I remember this from the video and we're gonna do it differently that way it turns out a little bit better since it is my model I'm glad I don't get too picky with them and how they turn out we are not going all the way around that little hub thing because that's where the wheel goes and that gets a piece on there later you don't want to put glue on something that's not getting anything you see that little thing that's sticking out from that wing half I don't know what it is but we're gonna glue that down just put a little bit of glue there here we go putting our clamps on that way this wing will also dry just like the other ones We've got our vertical tail pieces glue all of these you don't want to use too much because you know I mean it just melts things together and that's its job once those halves are together you know you can sand the seams a little bit because those went together fairly well and the seams hid very well on those so we're almost done here going around this little curve we will put the top piece of this tail fin on and this tail fin will be complete there we go and you see on the one side you see that little piece sticking up from the top right there as I'm pointing it out that's supposed to be there so remember not to cut it off get your little tabs get this little guy right here put your glue all the way around this these also go inside the fuselage that's why it's got those tabs on there that stick out this is the back of the flap for this right here going all the way around as we do because we want to make sure you get the glue in all the places that it needs to go Otherwise, you might end up with seams that pop open and we do fix those later. So we're going to put the stabilizer half on this and we will clamp that down just a little bit. It went on very nicely. Make sure all your flashing is off, of course, makes things a little bit easier. And that just held together like that. Here is the other one. Same process, I'm just doing this one in reverse. I'm filling in the holes instead. Going around the bottom we will then come around up to the left side once we get the left side of course you go up to the top going all around here hey look at that my camera goes out of focus periodically we'll deal with that at another time so there we go just put some more glue on here run around right there to that edge bring it back over don't forget to get the top part so we're going to do that right here a little bit of glue you don't need a lot we're coming towards the end of this what we're going to do once we get this half together we're going to start putting our wings on in this plane and then we will put the stabilizers on and then the tail fins so they basically join inside you have to look at the orientation because one of those tabs is higher than the other and you just have to join them properly here we have a tail fin so we are going to put the tail fin together this is obviously the outside because the inside will have a slot for those tabs to go into hit those little knobs right there I guess you could call those tabs too. everything's a tab or a joining circle or who knows what you want to call those things everything's just a tab from now on. we'll just call everything a tab it makes things so much easier so run along this joint line right here and join our tabs together you see that little slot right there for the other tab where the uh, stabilizer will go so here's the stabilizer right there putting some glue on the tab that inserts into the slot male end into the female end here we go put that in make sure it lines up properly and hold it let it set seam line was fairly decent in there might just want to cover it up a little bit in the crack maybe some super glue will get in there and make it look wonderful 
get this right here and we will put our other tail fin on and that will be complete and we will put our wings onto the plane after we will get these little guys on so here we go this is the wing make sure you go all the way around the wing right there to that little flap that you see dangling out because that's going to meet up at the bottom of some of this stuff right here so coat this as I'm doing that's because this is going to press up against the wing on the inside that comes through the opposite side you see that flap meets up right there with that raised portion of the plane it actually looks like this on the regular plane too so just do the same thing get your glue all the way on here probably want to do the bottom side of this not the top which is what I am doing because you just have to test the fit and see how everything lines up that is key we are coming to the end of this video on the next one we will do the tail fins and the stabilizers so remember subscribe that way you get the latest videos we love likes and we love comments we are going to see you on part two of this where we do a lot more of this plane and we get it assembled see ya